Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mendoza. Hey, I created a PDF and a Word document. So I did, did it in both formats in case one, uh, one of y'all don't have uh, Word or one of y'all don't have Acrobat. Uh, most people do, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I post both of them. <clears throat> uh, but you know, so here's the deal. At the bottom, of my video you're gonna see this link right here if you go to that link you uh, <clears throat> it'll take you to my Dropbox and all you have to do is go and hit download you'll see this dialog box once you see it you see this open file you you know you open it and uh, <clears throat> then you know you would save this into your hard drive you know so you know you'd go to downloads and you'd see that right there and you put it wherever you want now that's zipped it's a zip file so you'd have to unzip it okay so um so let me show you what this document is <clears throat> So for y'all that are new to X1, or even if you're not new to X1, and there's, uh, <clears throat> I created a document that will make it real easy for you to do a search. Uh, you don't have to go and look and look and look. So I created some search engines uh, in this, well, it's not a search engine, but just some documents, right? So let's say that you didn't know where to find a, uh, uh, let's say um, price list. All you have to do go here. So let, let me turn this off. If you hit Control F for find, then all you have to do, and while you're here, go ahead and and, and click on headings. Okay, and I'll show you why. So let's say you type price, right? Like for price list, you can type just the word price or you can go ahead and enter list. And uh, so if you notice, you see right here on the left-hand side, anywhere in that in this document that it found the word price list, it went ahead and highlighted the, um, the headings. Okay, so I have categorized these things by headings. So, so let's say that if you click on items, if you notice right in here, you see, you see this little uh, uh, little uh, yellow highlight. It's talking about this price list right here. Okay, so let's say that's not the one that you're looking for. So you would go and then you go to your this heading right here, and you see right here that. There's price list. So maybe it was the preferences that you were uh, looking for, for the word price list, right? And let's say that that wasn't it. There's one other place that you're going to see, and it's on your tools. So in your tools, um, way down here at the bottom, you have price list editor. Okay, so... Um, so let, let's, let's do another search for something different. Let's, okay, payment tracker. Let's, let's, let's see if you don't know where to find payment tracker, uh, P-A-Y-M-E-N-T. Once you hit payment, you see it shows, uh, advanced payment request, but here, let's type tracker and hit, hit, hit enter. Now, you see everywhere you see payment tracker you're gonna uh, go there so if you go if you click here you have payment tracker uh, on uh, uh, right here right this is where payment tracker is so um, now so let's say you're looking or also in your reference pricing you'll find the word payment tracker right in here you see under payment tracker 
So this would be under your uh, preference, pricing, and you would find payment tracker there. Uh, let's do a few more searches. So let's say uh, you want to know where, um, let me see, let's go. Yeah, I, I, I got my computer. So let, let, let's say that you want to find, you don't know how to get to your sketch, right? So if you hit sketch, the word sketch comes up right here. So, uh, so you know, it would be under preference sketch. Uh, <clears throat> or even, let's say that uh, you wanted to do a search for disto, like, you know, so it'll take you right there to that disto. And right here to the left, it shows you where you would be. You'd be under preference and sketch. Or let's say you want to look for tools. You know, so in tools, you'll find it in your preference view or your tools. Okay, so... Um, so this it's it makes it real real easy to find something if if you uh if you don't know where things are so another thing that i want to show you let's say you you don't know how to get to your local projects if you click here it tells you you know I, i've height i've uh circle or squared off local and then this is where you would create a new pro uh, uh, project. Or let's say you want to know how to get to your cloud. You would go to your Xactimate. You go to cloud, my projects, or your tools. You see, if you go, if you click on the left hand side, you'll see tools. And here's your tools. I've highlighted where your tools are, your options. Okay, so you can look on the left hand side, especially if you're looking for forms, you know, you like your cost of loss forms. I've, uh, I've gone in and, and, and listed every single one of those forms. Uh, actually, these are your reports, right? But, you know, you can go also uh, find your forms. So if you click here and just type forms. See, you click right here, you're going to have all those forms that, well, right now I don't have that many listed. Okay, guys, so that, that's all I'm, uh, that all, that's all I have. This will really, I'm telling you, it'll really help you find things. And especially, your, you know, your preferences, your preferences, here's uh you know, you have all, you know, you have those preferences there, which are your general. So you'll see right here, it says general. And then, so here's all your preferences. And you can see them all in, in one location. Because usually most of y'all, when y'all uh, go here, you're only going to see two or three of them because Xactimate, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I open up my Xactimate, I go to preferences, you know, you'd have to scroll down to look for things or your project, you know, you see how you have to scroll down. Well, I, I have it to where you can go in and reduce, you know, I'm holding my control key and with my mouse, I'm going up and down and, uh, you know, so let's say you're looking for auto save. If you click here and just type auto, you see it, it, it uh, it'll go right to it. You'll see a little highlight here, but this is what it's talking about. Okay, guys, so y'all can download this, and and for y'all people that don't have um, Microsoft Word, then. I also gave it to you in a PDF format. 
So let me show you what it looks like on a PDF. So normally when you open up your uh, Acrobat, now this is an Acrobat Professional, but yours should be almost a little similar to mine. Uh, I paid for mine, so because I'm able to add it PDFs and do a lot of a lot of things with it. So if you look on the left hand side, you'll see a little arrow. If you click on that arrow and you click on this uh, this ribbon looking thing, if you click on it, it's going to give you your headings, just like in uh, Microsoft uh, Word. So you, you'll be able to do the same thing. It's go straight to it this way. Or less, same thing with uh, Word. If you hit Control F for Find, you'll get this little menu here. And let's say uh, you're looking for tools. You see? It found tools right right here. Look, you see how it's highlighted? And then you can hit next. And see, it highlighted right there. If you don't want to hit next, you just want to hit enter. That was the end of it. So, you know, if you hit enter again, it start from the beginning, hit enter, hit enter. Then um, you're able to navigate that way. Okay, well, that's it, guys. So, uh if you like this, you can go ahead and download this. So you, you'll you'll be able to see this right underneath my uh, my video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this stuff, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to me, and you'll see a bunch of cool look looking stuff like this. Again, guys, thank you for watching uh, my video.